All right, so in this video, we're going to test Cocos Creator, the latest version. And uh, we're going to do simple stuff, and I'm going to show you guys how to use it. Okay, it has started here, so let's create a new project. Uh, let's call it um, Cocos Video. It'll be whatever name. So here, it's going to create a simple template. Uh, it's going to create the uh, Cocos 2DX logo and uh, a simple canvas, and we're going to play around. All right, it's loaded. That's what I see here. You can see here I have my uh, workspace. I can see everything that's going to be on my screen. Uh, here, I click on the canvas, and you can see here properties. So here you can see the design resolution uh, by default is 960 uh, width, well, width, width and the height is uh, 640. You can change these, you can put it to whatever you want, uh, but for now let's just stick to the default values. Okay, so I was mentioning to you that uh, it includes here a simple image, which is the Focus 2DX logo. Let's just drag and drop this here. And for now, let's just going to run this, and uh, you're going to be able to see this. Uh, I'm using Windows right now. Uh, by default, in Windows, it's, it's going to use the Internet Explorer, but uh, I'm just going to use Chrome just because it's uh, way easier to debug your JavaScript code. So I'm just going to copy that address. Um, I'm going to put this image inside of the canvas. Um, I'm now saving it. Um, let's see that test scene. Ah, it's yeah, rotated and I can see exactly the same I have here. So let's say if, uh, if I move this here and I save it, well, as I was mentioning, it automatically reload and uh, goes to the new position. Okay, uh, that seems uh, very straightforward. Uh, let's play around uh, with the JavaScript code. So what I'm going to do is that this simple sprite that I am, I'm seeing here, uh, I'm going to make it move. And I'm going to make it move using JavaScript and uh, Cocos um, Creator capabilities. So let's do that. Let's say that uh, by default, this Pride is going to be here, which as you can tell, it's outside of the visible area. So what we're going to do is that uh, using JavaScript code, we're going to make this to fall, like if, if it's where it were um, falling from the sky onto the ground. So let's do that. So let's create a script here in my script folder. I right click and here to create a JavaScript. Uh, let's rename this, let's call it uh, full because it's going to make our sprite full. And uh, let's, uh, of course, it's going to create a template code for us to begin with something. So, of course, the, it, this is a JSON object, as you can tell, the onload function it's the first thing that's going to be called so you could log anything in the console for the debugging purposes so let's write like um, I'm falling for instance just for you to see that uh, it's actually been logged in the console and um, now let's create real code so let's say that I'm going to create a variable um, that's going to be, uh, let's call it movement, and it's going to be equals to move to. Uh, you can see here that the code completion for Cocos Creator is actually working. So uh, you can see here that the move to function receives three parameters. Uh, the first one is the duration of seconds that the movement is going to take and then uh, it received other two parameters, which are the position X and Y of the movement, no, the final point of the movement. So let's say that it will take uh, three seconds 
um, to go to this dot node, which is the current node or the node which I've applied uh, the script. Let's get the position x. So it's not going to move in the x axis, but uh, just in the y axis. So I'm just going to put here an arbitrary number, just one that's uh, outside of the screen. Uh, we already saw here that uh, screen has a height of uh, 640. Uh, this is the point 0, 0, this is the origin. So if I put, uh, let's say, well, let's just put uh, minus 640 and that should do the trick. Uh, okay, so minus 640. All right, so we have the movement. Finally, we just have to say this dot node dot uh, run action and I want it to run the movement action and that should be it I save this and uh, let me apply this script to that particular sprite so here you can see the properties of the hello world sprite I'm just going to move here this whole script to properties of that sprite. So after I save that, I should be able to see that falling from the sky. And voila, you can see it there. So uh, pretty much that's it. Uh, this is a, a very graphical tool that uh, the Cocos 2DX folks just came up with. It's been around just for a couple of months. Uh, it's still a buggy tool. It can be, it, it, of course, it's going to be better with the time, but um, it's functional. You can actually create your game, drag and drop your sprites. You have here labels. You have uh, a lot of uh, components that you can use here. You can create your scripts and then assign your script to multiple nodes, etc., etc. Like for instance, here you see I, I've created a, another sprite, and look at this. I'm going to reuse the script that I just made. So let's say that. Uh, this, which is another hell world uh, component, this this. Um, let's going to assign the same script that I've assigned to the other one. Let's save this, and you'll see that both of them are going to fall from the sky. You see, so it's it's cute. Uh, it's 100% free as uh, a DX tool. You can play around with it, and. Um, you can create games and like uh, there are serious companies that are making money out of it they are creating games using Cocos DX for a while uh, like uh, Disney for instance Cocos DX has Microsoft support too so I highly recommend you to try this tool